I'm Barney Dorman from The Chimney Company and today I'm going to show you how to dispose of ash. Now when removing the ash from your stove there's two ways of doing it, either with an ash hoover or an ash carrier. So what you do with an ash carrier is to get the ash pan from inside the stove. Now this is cold ash and I'm going to use my hands. The best thing about an ash carrier is that you can also do it when the coals are hot in the morning. But the process is still the same. Remove the ash carrier, simply place it into the tippy ash carrier, tilt it up so that all the ash falls into there, remove your ash pan and close the lid. Then this can be taken outside to allow the hot coals to cool down and it's a clean, easy way of cleaning your stove. The other way you can get rid of your ash from your stove or open fire is by using an ash hoover. These are fantastic. You just simply hoover it up like you normally would. This particular model, you don't need to plug it in to your hoover. Some models you do need to plug into your hoover, so just be aware of what you're buying. But if you buy one of the better ones like this, you can simply hoover out all your ash without causing any ash coming into the room, which is brilliant. One thing to bear in mind when you're using an ash hoover is to make sure that the fire is completely cooled down. They can hoover up hot material, but not really hot material, which will end up melting it. They're made of plastic. Even when they have a metal nozzle like this one, just ensure that you're leaving enough time for it to actually physically cool down before attempting hoovering it out. Now when you're disposing of ash, if you've been burning wood, you can actually take that ash and put it into your garden you can turn it over with the soil, it's a great fertiliser. Now if you've been burning smokeless fuel, you'll always need to dispose of that ash into your normal waste that you put out for the dustbin every week. That you can't turn over into the soil. So what you need to do is to place that into a rubble bag, or if you've been buying logs, or in a plastic bag anyway, just reuse that. And as a safety precaution, just make sure that the coals that you're putting into any bag, whether it's from burning wood or smokeless fuel, is completely cold because if you're putting hot embers into a plastic bag, it's gonna melt, and worst case scenario, it could set the bin on fire. So just be careful to make sure that everything is completely cold before you dispose of it. And that's how you dispose of ash. <laughs>